So some of my favorite comments on the videos are that people want to learn more about what's going on. They, they see the equipment, but they don't, they want to know the mechanics behind it. So we're going to show you a little bit about the planner. This planter, it is 60 feet wide. It's a 24 row 30. And with a planter being this size, there's a lot of weight here. So they have done the hitch into the part of the, the three point hitch instead of the draw bar. That way the weight is easier transferred onto the tractor and plus uh, there's a height. Uh, we can adjust the height of the tongue. It's part of the fold take it is required by that. As you can see that there are several hydraulic hoses hooked up. It takes four remotes, which is four different levers to operate this planter. So between the lift, the markers, the seed drive that meters that, that turns the shafts is one is another circuit. And then the last circuit is the air delivery that gets the seed from the bulk tanks out to the individual rows. As you can see, we had a little bit of a hose um, start leaking on us here and kind of coated the machine a little bit but that's fixed and, and that was a different day so right now the planter is folded up parallel with the frame so in the field it folds out like that so your markers go out and we use one at a time and um, for like turn rows but the planning is all done within the field by guidance so the markers aren't used necessarily in the field um, all that much except for just the, the little areas and turn rows. You take the individual row unit, uh, we got the same row unit been replicated 24 times here, but um, you take a no-till coulter, it runs in front of the row unit, and it opens up the uh, ground, kind of breaks the crust, and um, it works the soil just ahead of the double disc openers. And so this is a, a, a pair of discs that run in a V to open that trench up and uh, the seed will then drop down behind. So these are your gauge wheels that, that regulate how deep you plant. And so when you're in the field, they come up and they, uh, they regulate the depth. Let me lift it up so I can show the V. There's the V. So we run a seed firmer tail that runs right in the trench and it mashes that seed down to the bottom of the groove down in the bottom of the trench. And so it just firms that seed all the way down to the bottom of the trench. That way that the seed is at a uniform depth and that uh, it's hopefully for um, even emergence. So once the seed is planted in the trench, we got to cover that back up. And so these wheels will pinch that open trench back together and kind of firm the soil on top to get a good um, covering on the seed and to seal in the moisture. Uh, sealing in that moisture is very critical on getting that seed to germinate. So we fill those two uh, bulk boxes with seed and then there is a blower fan that will blow it from that distribution chamber underneath the tanks and it blows it through that line down to each individual row unit and that just saves time and filling from not having to fill each and every row unit. Um, central fill saves a lot of time and then it blows the seed out to the individual rows. So this is a mini hopper. And so what we have in here is just a little bit of seed. So 
there's where the air escapes when it gets blown and the seed goes down there and you just have just a just a little little cup full of seed down in there and that's what you plant and seed it continuously blows into each mini hopper here seed comes in that seed comes in through here through the through the hose So this is a corn meter. It is specific to corn, and uh, we'll show how the meter works with some spare parts we got around here. This is an air clutch, and with this, we are able to shut the row off and start it back, like to get rid of the overplant. So with the monitor and the tractor, it will map, and um, it knows where the planter is, and it can shut it off, and that prevents the overlap of the corn and um, you, you get a, the exact coverage in your field that you need. And so whenever you get to where it's been planted, this clutch activates and it quits the drive chain from turning. And so it just runs, so this shaft will be turning all the time and then it will disconnect here and uh, this chain will quit turning. So after the corn gets metered out, it goes down into the seed tube and this is what delivers it down to the trench that the row unit has made in the ground. So each seed tube has a sensor on it that goes up into the monitor and it tells us whether that uh, row unit in that row is planting or not. Um, it's pretty important in case if you have a meter malfunction or you run out of seed, you know uh, whether you need to put more seed in the planter or not. Um, so that's a very important uh, piece is having that seed tube with the sensor on it. This is inside of a corn meter that you got these 12 individual fingers that are spring loaded and they open and close as, as this rotates and it picks up the, each individual kernel and when it comes around to an opening, it drops it out from the finger. And so that is how it singulates each and every seed and that way you only plant one seed at a time. And so this is a pretty important piece of the planter right here.